All right, I'm going to attempt to solder uh, some nickel. I'm going to use the bottom side, so it'll be easier. All I have is, for example, a battery. I have these sealed lead asses, but I tried it, and it wouldn't solder very well. And I think the cold uh, current, uh, what's the cold cranking amp? So it's not hot, it's not really rated for a starting battery. So I had to put these jumper cables down to a normal car battery so I could share the current. Um, and then I just got the solenoid. I put a light bulb between because whenever you, whenever you disconnect, there's going to be some current that wants to go back to the battery. So instead of burning up your contact, it'll actually go back to negative through your light bulb. Then you just put your uh, two terminals on there, push down on it, and just. Push it hard enough. So there you go. So now that's on there. Try to pull it off. So it's pretty good. Rips, actually rips through the tin and leaves contacts there. Do it again. I think I didn't push down hard enough. Like I said, it, I don't know if these need to be filed uh, to a real sharp point or not. I don't think it really matters. You just need to. And then that's what the welds end up looking. You can't pull it off. You really got to rip it. And it ends up ripping, ripping the tin and leaving more pads. So for a runner of five amps. It ain't, I mean, that's good enough. Like I said, I think if I built a little, the little tray, and then, yeah, it's on there pretty solid. You have to wiggle it. Ends up being pretty good.